What is up guys, Zan from the Zan Madden YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be showing you guys one of the best chunk yardage posts that you can run in all of Madden 24. And this is going to come to you out of the Trey Y Flex or the Trey Y Flex Halfback Strong. And you guys can find this in the Kansas City Chiefs offense. The route that we're going to be taking a look at is the skinny post that is found in the play PA crossers. Now, if you guys are looking at the Trey Y Flex, you have a few plays that you could run PA slot cross. We also also have a skinny post in the play verticals Y cross that is very very good as well so you could choose either of those plays so three plays total in the Trey Y flex you may be saying okay well it's just a skinny post it can't be that special right let's go ahead and take a quick look here and I want to kind of show you in general the difference in this route compared to let's say a regular skinny post so uh, the first thing that you'll note here with the ball spotted at the 25 yard line is that this particular post breaks at the opposite 40, basically two or three. So it's a nearly 20 yard vertical stem on this. If we were to compare this to say a skinny post that is found in the hot route master of the outside receiver apprentice, uh, you will notice that this breaks at a depth of give or take 10, 11 yards. It's not nearly as good at turning the hips of the DB before it breaks. The other thing that I really like about this route is that it is very, very good at beating any deep zone in the game. So if you're facing cover zero, great. But if they run cover one, we'll be able to take a lot of those deep zones out of the play, which you guys will see happens here in the zone breaking portion of this video but let's just go ahead first and foremost and kind of show you guys um, just a little bit of a glimpse of what this can do when you have a deep zone on the field all we need to do is use either the b or the y receiver to run off that zone it doesn't matter if that receiver that's running off the zone is manned up by someone else we're just using them to get multiple defensive players out of the way to isolate this backside throw now for this backside throw, you guys will want to pay attention to your deep route running rating of your wide receiver because this is a super deep break. A player that maybe has low to mid eighties for their deep route running will not get the same type of cut as a player that is north of 90 deep route running on this. So if you guys are struggling with beating man with this particular call, you guys may wish to go ahead and uh, upgrade your deep route running on this. Now, when it comes to actually throwing this ball, if it is manned up, we are gonna throw a down free form right on the break and snap this off like a curl route right there you saw that we got a little bit of an under pressure but in general this is going to be a very simple throw that is something that you'll be able to throw on time it doesn't matter whether or not they shade inside or outside you guys will be able to free form this with a little bit of practice so i'll throw a few of these against man to man and then we will move into zone you see right here how this allows me to turn this route into basically a deep dig pattern where i can kind of cut the route off and uh get body leverage on the the player that is manned up to him so basically what i do is i snap the ball i wait to see if he's manned up and then i will just throw a down pass lead click on and go grab it really the only thing that's going to stop this in man to man is if somebody has maybe like a deep route knockout which not a lot of players are running in man to man but again you see that this particular post route is so good because it does cross the face of that player and that allows us to throw the ball as a free form down to be able to kind of snap that off as a square in now before we move on to zone i want to show you guys that this is a significant difference to the regular hot route master post i'm not saying that you can't get the hot route master post open i'm just saying that the way it works is not nearly as good in terms of the pass lead you see right there i used the same pass lead tried to snap it off it just doesn't give you that body leverage that the regular deeper post does because it runs further downfield so you, you see here i could basically throw this ball even ahead of the break right there we had a little gap pressure off the left side and i had to throw it just a smidge early it was fine because this route runs so deep that the receiver is going to get that db's hips turned he's going to have his back to the quarterback thus he's going to break on the ball much worse so cannot be manned up. Let's go to zone. Now, before we get into the zone, if you could do me a favor, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Give this video a like if you're enjoying it and also hit that notification bell so you're notified of all the uploads here on the channel. And if you guys are looking for a little bit more Madden strategy, head over to my website, gridirongameplans.gg. I have been updating the vault nonstop since the launch of the game. We are up near 100 vault tips already in this game. So much content in the vault alone and you guys will still unlock all offensive and defensive game plans on the website and members only discord access where you can converse with other members of the gridiron game plans community and attended our lab sessions every single week you guys can unlock everything that i just mentioned on the website for just 9.95 a month and i'm constantly updating the website every single week 
All right, so let's go ahead and get back into beating zone. This time I'm gonna call a little Trey Y flex half back strong just because I can. This is very valuable in the event that maybe your opponent's trying to play match coverage on you and you don't like to deal with match coverage. You guys could have four players to one side of the field, uh, which will turn off match. Now, right here, I'm just in regular cover four drop, but if you guys come out and say the regular Trey Y flex and you wanna do what I'm talking about, just motion your running back across the other side. This will help you with turning off match coverage and turning it into zone, which is what we're gonna break down here. So let's take a look at cover four. Now, the cool thing about this particular route combo, and I know there's a lot going on on the field right here with the offense and the defensive play out here at the same time, but I like having Omaha active so I can show you guys what we're trying to do. Basically the outside deep zone that is standing over Calvin Johnson on the skinny post, he wants to play outside leverage on that because he has safety help in the form of not one, but two inside quarters on this play the thing is we're going to use the inside receiver dk metcalf on a streak to run off that inside quarter help which is going to allow a giant pocket underneath of that route where we're going to be able to throw this ball in the middle of the field for roughly 35 yards so this is a tough throw that you will need to be worried about if you're going to play zone because we really can't get a deep zone to that ball uh it's basically just going to be run off now the one player that you do need to be aware of on this play that if you're a little late with the delivery that can impact this is the inside quarter on the right of the screen uh, and the reason that I say that is we're not giving him a whole heck of a lot to worry about here on this play. But again here, you see that this is a easy throw. We're on the 25. We're throwing this to the opposite 40. That is a gain of about 35 yards. And even right there, I threw that ball relatively on time. And you'll note that while I did mention that this safety is one that you need to watch out for, you'll note that he actually is paying attention to the streak as well on the other side of the field, which basically allows us to have that same throw. So we can utilize the streak to DK Metcalf to pull not only the safety on his side but also Derwin James again there is a lot of field for us to snap off this throw over the middle end and you see that this allows us to really kill cover four over the deep middle of the field this is a spot on the field that not a lot of players like to worry about when they call this shell let me show this to you again here we're just gonna snap the ball let B run off the shell step up in the pocket let the receiver break down throw a down pass lead right there caught it right at about 35 yards so this would be over the top of a max zone drop who's going to play a 30 yard hook zone anyways the user's got to be in the middle of the field on this which is great now the other thing that's really interesting about this particular play is that i could actually run off not one but two of those zones at the same time uh and in fact if you use this verticals play that's in the trey y flex strong you see that i can use pits to run off the deep zone for Metcalf on a crosser, and I can use Evans to run off both deep zones for Johnson on the post. And then if I wanna wait on Johnson later in the play, you're technically gonna have Pitts also pulling the inside quarter on the right for Johnson. So if I really hold on to this ball, you're gonna see that I'm gonna have the window to X now, 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 the entire way down the field. And I'm gonna be able to throw this for, you know, up to about 40, 45 yards, uh, which is really, really great. And it also allows us to use Pitts to run off the shell for Metcalf. So you see right here, I could use that fade and I can throw this ball on the sideline. Now, the one thing you will wanna worry about on this is that if you are facing a true cover four, the outside quarter that is on the right can peel back late in the play. So what you're gonna want to do is really hit Metcalf right about here, uh, which is gonna allow him to catch the ball in front. And if you have gift wrapped, you're never gonna drop that unless they have a deep out KO anyway. So that's a great option for you as well. Also keep in mind that if you know it's zone and you guys really don't wanna worry about it, you can always just kind of send your running back out wide and make this five wide. I know this sounds really silly, but this is crazy good junk yardage in the event that you know they're playing zone because they're gonna have to run with this crosser. If you imagine the user's not on the crosser, then we're gonna throw it. But you also see, I could like rip this throw to X so easily he, he, right there he stopped and I still could have thrown the ball at any point and picked up 40 to 50 yards on this so this is a really really good play that's going to allow you to eat chunk yardage against zone you also have the ability to kind of mix in your Texas routes as well you know the whole Texas crosser combo is very very popular if the user's sagging then you're going to be able to uh you know hit your Texas over the middle otherwise you're just going to be able to freestyle like crazy out of these concepts because that skinny post is so tough over there on the left side you also factor in that a lot of players really like Mabel coverage where they're going to be dropping instead of a deep zone on the left they'll have like a 30 yard blue on the left um if you catch them in that style of defense against this formation you're just going to throw a literally a streak and a fade on the play because you'll just pull 
the inside quarter with Metcalf. And then if they're playing a bl uh, blue cloud flat instead of a deep zone on the left sideline, they're going to give up the one play touchdown over the top to Calvin Johnson. Um, so you've got a lot that you can do with this particular offense. You also have the ability, if you really think about it, to kind of run wheel flat combos. Um, you could run something like this very routinely and hit right bumper out of the backfield. Look for him. Uh, I accidentally didn't uh, put that post on the field, but you saw right there, I was able to do a little jet pack right there. Uh, but again, I mean, it's just a, it's such a, it's a, such a versatile offensive formation. You really can't run man or zone or match against it. Uh, again, you see right here, I can, I can rip this throw all day long. Just give them something that their user has to worry about. And they're not going to be thinking 35 yard post dead in the middle of the field especially when they're running cover three or cover four. But that is today's video. This will work very much the same way against cover three. It obviously is going to split the safeties into cover two, so I don't really need to show that. I show that in the B-roll. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you guys give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. We'll see you guys this afternoon with our next YouTube short or tomorrow with another long form tutorial video. Until then, this is Zan. Get the lab and good luck.